And you have the most amount of mitochondria in your eyes. Like, that's right. There's like a few places where it's just packed with mitochondria, and that's one of them. So that's fascinating. Yeah, and our organs are, are, are packed with them. Like the heart has a ton of mitochondria, etc. So cellular energy is super important. And yeah. what makes red light so unique, why people aren't staying in front of green light and these others, because these specific wavelengths of red and near infrared can actually boost cellular energy. And when you have more cellular energy, your body can function more efficiently. Cells can actually heal and not only do they heal they're better protected right they're better protected from getting from going under stress again so it just makes you stronger it's like it's almost like giving your cells like food you know it's it's so it's pretty incredible so what it does you know to summarize that it's boosting cellular energy and specifically mitochondria function is it true that the mitochondria have receptor sites for red light yep they have photoreceptors yep and they respond to these wavelengths like which just makes it just all the more it's interesting crazy. um and and i, I kind of like think about this explosion of us understanding light right understanding more about circadian rhythm when you kind of go through life and you go through school you think like we have everything figured out yes. but then you can kind of look at history and you're like well just a hundred years ago we didn't even know what vitamins were we didn't even have yeah. those proven out now we know what they are so i feel like that's where we are with light you know you see yeah. this explosion with infrared saunas using using light to heat the body, right? To put it under stress. And you see more things exploding of using, um, you know, can't remember the company, but there's glasses you can put on that give your eyes like green light that can help. Brain yep. tap has something like that. Yeah. So we're kind of figuring out there's so many different ways to use light for our benefit, right? And so that's where kind of Juve is in is we're, we're giving you this healthy wavelengths of light, but we're making it convenient to use at home, which is the most important because it takes consistent usage to really see benefit. No different than it would be if you're taking a supplement or like you talk about inner intermittent fasting a one-off of intermittent fasting could maybe help in some areas maybe some digestion but really you got to consistently do it to really reap the benefits and that's how light that's how red light is so this is the way I, i process the body is if it has a receptor site for red light then we need to see red light and if we don't see red light then you're depriving that mitochondria of a nutrient as powerful as oxygen as a vitamin as ketones like all those nutrients are all important so if we're inside all day if we have our sunglasses on if we're not seeing sunrise and sunset where the red light exists we're literally getting no red light and then we're not nourishing the mitochondria in the way that they need to be nourished is that a proper way to look at it like we're depriving our mitochondria of a key nutrient if we're not getting red light i I would i'd say that's spot on and i and i think it's accidental because i think when we developed this indoor lifestyle we didn't fully understand what we were doing same thing when we brought light in the home I mean, mean, you can go through the research and see that it's been amazing since we brought light into the home, the average American sleeps three hours less. Like, so there's lots of stuff we've done by accident, you know? And so, yeah, I... I mean, that's spot on. And and one thing to add to that is not only are we not being exposed to these wavelengths of light, but we're also being overexposed to certain wavelengths of light, like blue light, as an example. You know, most indoor lighting is all blue light. Um, and then at night, all of our devices, TVs, computers, everything, it's 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 u- utilizing blue light, which is really, really uh, a stimulative light to our to cortisol. So mm-hmm. it's, it's pretty much helps us stay awake, which so, is why the sky's blue during the day. This is the same concept as fasting. When people fast, they start to get not just ketones. We see mm-hmm. all kinds of neurochemical changes that they're not getting and they're missing out on when they eat all day long. Mm-hmm. And to, my, to this, to me, is where we get into this evolutionary mismatch. Like we really, at this point in 2022, we've got to pause and say, okay, some of these nutrient requirements of the body Body are not being met and I feel like light is like right up there with one of the key ones but it's really easy to look at a red light and be like oh I'm gonna wave that thing all you know I'm gonna mm-hmm. stand in front of it my testosterone's gonna go up so explain to us a little bit I, I know there's some great hormone studies how can we use this as a tool that might be as powerful as just you know a good old-fashioned meal to give more information on that in, in 2019 we participated in a, a case study and it was about 40 people between male and female and we divided uh, the research group we were working with they were heavily interested in um in helping people specifically metabolically so they're big believers in a ketogenic diet and anyone that has seen research on the ketogenic diet can be very beneficial not a diet for everybody but it can be very very beneficial compared to a standard american diet and so that's what they were focused on and they had seen a lot about juve and red light therapy and seen how it could help a ton for mitochondria function and they they were you know as being clinicians they knew you know mitochondria function is a key to especially as as you age